everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to put together my 6x6 twist and pop dies. So if you haven't seen the dies, this is the card that you can create. Now this is actually a vertical version of the dies, but I'm going to do the standard, I guess, horizontal version. But you can see just how cool these are. Now I haven't decorated any of the fronts. These were all samples, but the one I'm going to do today I will do. Here's another one. So this is the more in the orientation that you would know, so it will be able to stand. You can see there all the lovely details and then this one I love that one with the meadow and then that one just with a little bit of ink blending and stamping and then this one which has got one of the background stamps there so that's the card that we are going to be creating today so let me show you how to do it Okay, so this is the die set. You get a lot of dies in here. So these are all your garden theme dies. And then on the back here is the card blank dies and the mechanism. Now this one will go through a standard die machine. However, your plates on a standard die machine are just over six inches, nearly six and a quarter. This is six inches wide, so it's going to be sitting right on the sides. However, this is the dies to make the card blanks. So if you've already got your own card blanks, and you're probably not really going to use these dies. They're just frames. The mechanism ones are these ones here, these are the main ones, and they're going to fit through any standard die machine, because you can see they're not very wide. Okay, so if you have a smaller die machine and you're worried that this isn't going to work, if you're, as long as the mechanism goes through, then you're going to be fine. And this one here is your mat layer for the panels. So I'll keep those two out. I've already gone ahead and cut the card blank, which is a 6x6, but like I said, you can buy these from the shop. So I've got that one ready. Then I've gone ahead and I've got my background here. Now you want to do all your mats um, on the car on your card blank first before you stick the mechanism down. Now I'm using one of the scenes from my new paper pad and I'll just show you it. There it is there. Okay so I've kept more of the bottom there because that's where the mechanism is going to go so you get to see all of that design. So I've die cut that one using the mat layer that comes in the die set but you can also cut this by hand if you don't want to use that. And then I've done another one to go here. And then I've also done another one to go on the front and on the back, and we'll get to that shortly. But obviously when you're getting yours ready, you want to cut all them at the same time. So I'm going to stick these two down. I'm going to use my Kalal glue. Okay, so I've stuck all them down. I've actually done the ones on the other side as well, because the back here is where you'll write your message. This is going to be the front, and then they open up the card to reveal the pop-up piece. So then what I've gone and done is using the same green, is I've die cut the panel using this die here. And then I've die cut the main mechanism using this die here. Okay. Now I recommend a 220 cardstock, and you kind of you want to be, if you can, using a colour court. And all that means is that the whole of the cardstock is the colour that you see there. The other kind you can get is a white core, and you would see on the side of your card you'd see white. The reason I say get a colour core is because there's a lot of folding going on with this. So if you were to get any cracking, if it's white, then you're going to really notice it. And white core tends to have the coating of them, the, the colour, the dye. Whereas if you've got a colour core, if it did crack at all, you're not going to see it. Um, but this is a nice weight because it's strong enough to hold the mechanism, like the pop part of it but it's soft enough to be able to handle all of the folds that we're going to add. Now another little tip as well, because obviously the die has put a score line in there, but sometimes you find with dies when they're putting in score lines, they're not as kind of compressed as you want. So I find by just going over those with my stylus, which I'm just looking for here. So I'm just finding a track on my scoreboard. Um, I'm using the three inch, just move the stylus down, hold it there. If you've got a little marker down here, then you can just use that as a guide. And I'm just going to line this back up with the three inches here. I mean, you don't have to do this, but I think if you, everybody's got different card stock, so I just think for anybody, if you are using a white core, then I would definitely recommend adding, you know, just going over the score line there. And then again, I'm just popping my stylus in there and just lining that up like so and just go over that because what this does when you're scoring you're, you're you're compressing and squashing the fibers so you're spreading them out so they're ready to be able to then you know fold um, it just takes the pressure off but it's exactly the same but I've just gone over it a little bit more then what you want to do is those that you've now just if you have just scored you want to fold them so they're mountain folds like so and then these are going to become valley folds and then as you bring it down you want them to sit next to each other like so. 
Okay, so you'll have this arrow shape. Next, you want to decorate this, and I think it's easier to do when you've got it flat. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've die cut four of these white panels using the die there. And I've taken this sentiment from one of my favourite damp sets, and it's this one here, it's Card Making Magic, and I've just used that one there. You can see it's been heavily used, but I've popped that one on there. So I'm going to have that one, I think I'm going to pop that one there. Then I've got this one here that I've stamped the fence, which comes in the stamp set. This is the coordinating stamp set, and this one is called the Garden Delights. And then with these either end, I'm going to add the grass. So these are dies that come in the die set. So you've got two of them here. So I'm going to have one there. And I'm going to have the other one there. I'm just going to lay this all down just so you can see. And it's nice to just play around and start kind of just placing things where you would like them to go. And it's easy to then change until you're 100%. And take a photo of it, you know, in case you forget. Once you take it all away, you know you've got it there for reference. Like so. Then I've die cut the butterfly. I'm going to have that one there. And then I've gone ahead and I've die cut the watering cam. I die cut it in grey and then I die cut it again in the silver and I just paper pieced it. And I'm going to have, I think I'm going to have it under the grass, like so. And I'm going to have it offset and I'm just going to trim that bit off. And then to go on there, I've got, I've got the really cute little Colin the Caterpillar. He's going to sit just there. So that's kind of the scene in that one. And then this one, I've got the bumblebee, which I've die cut and I've just coloured it in and it's using that die there but also what you get is this die and these are your little kind of bee or butterfly trails and they're just little dashes that will die cut into the card so what you want to do with these is kind of position where everything would be and then kind of lay this on the card so it's going to be like that because the bee maybe come down a little bit further like that so it takes up more of the card stock so then I can remove that remove that I'm just going to hold that in place or tack it down with a little bit of tape I'm just going to run that through my die machine okay and now it gives you that really cool effect so when I stick that on there and I will stick the bee just at the end and then the grass over the top hopefully you can see that there I think it looks really cute then I've got all these bits for decorating the inside here. So I'm going to get all this stuck down. Okay, so there's my little scene created on the panels. Next we want to pop this in. So with this one what you want to do is you want to fold it so that you have an M shape. So you're going to do a valley, a mountain, make sure that's all stuck down, and then finish with a valley. So you'll have an M shape. Okay. Then what's going to happen is you're going to pop the folded sides are going to go inside between these two. So it's going to sit on top of the bottom one here and underneath the top one. Make sure your open side is facing you. Now, sit it in here, and you want the point to sit just up to the school line. You don't want to go over it, because obviously this won't close properly. And just make sure it's in the middle, bring it up. Now the key with this, and even I still get it slightly off, is you need to make sure that this is completely parallel and that this is all kind of, you know, it's all straight. Um, it, you may still be just a millimetre up slightly here and down here or up there, even though it looks straight. Um, and even when measuring, because I do recommend liquid glue, you can use double-sided tape, but I think liquid glue is better because it gives you the wiggle room. But saying that, when you then go to close it, there's nothing to say it doesn't move a little bit when you push down. So you're always going to get, and all that will mean is your card will slightly rock when it, when it opens up. It doesn't at all interfere with the mechanism so you know don't worry about that um, but I have had some where I've got them bang on <laughs> and it's like a joyous moment but don't be disheartened if you don't because the card still works perfectly but what you want to do is pull with it in between these two pieces bring this right up to the edge okay and make sure it's between these two okay so I'm just trying to keep everything straight and then 
I'm just going to grab a pencil or a pen and just put a little mark just there. Okay, and this is so you know where to put your glue. You're not going to see any of this. Try not to move it. Pinch it together and just flip it over and just put another mark there. And then you take it away and then I'm just going to use my glue here. And just cover because that way you, you're putting the glue in the area that it needs to go in because you don't want to be adding glue to any other areas on this because you run the risk of it sticking when you close the card down. So just keep it within that area and then just lay this back down. So again, make sure the open end is facing you and make sure you've got an even overhang. It's all about keeping it balanced, but that all looks good to me. And then I'm going to add my glue. I'm going to all over here and just make sure you get it right into the corners. And I said this when I done all my demos, don't rush this. You want to make sure you get it nice and secure. Again, make sure that opens facing you. And then I'm going to sit this back down. Just make sure it's all straight. And then I'm going to pop my glue on the top. So I'm just going to use my finger just to get it right up into the corners there. Like so. And then just close it. And now don't lift it until you're 100% of that's completely you know, secure. So I'm going to just leave that there. And whilst that's drying, I'll show you what I'm going to do with the decoration on the front. I'm just going to put my little magnet tidy on it there. So I've got these three ovals here, just different sizes, and I've got the Relax from the die set. And these are designed to cut into the cardstock, so I've made sure this oval just fits the Relax there. So I'm going to run this through my machine. Okay, take that away, pop this out. You want to keep the negative, so I want to keep that piece. Now you can obviously keep these as well, but um, like I said, we've made them so that they die cut into the card and then I'm just going to take out the center of the E there and that's it. Okay now I'm going to stick this back on the green so it pops and then I'm just going to fill in those negative pieces there. Okay and then I'm just going to add a little bit of glue in the center of the R and just pop that in. And then just a little bit on the E there. Okay, so now you have your relax, and then I'm going to pop that one onto there. So I'm keeping the front very basic because these cards are designed to be displayed open. So, you know, don't spend too long really on the front. That's my personal <laughs> kind of feeling on it anyway, just because, you know, it's not really going to get seen. But you want it to still you know, be nice for the person when they open up the card. So I'm going to pop the butterfly. So it's just a nod to kind of the design of what's inside. And then I'm going to grab some foam tape and I'm just going to pop three on the back there. And then I'm just going to pop that one in the center. And then I have this one here, which is from just one of my a stamp set in my stash, so it says relax, today is all about you. And I'm just going to, again, pop a bit of foam on the back of that. Okay, so that's the front of the card, and now I'm pretty confident that that's dry. It's nice to be able to do this in my leisure and not have the pressure of TV because <laughs> you only have so long. But now when you open it up, pops out your lovely panel there with all of the images on. So now you can see that it stands, I guess there's a little, a little bit there, but nothing you would notice. So now I've got all these lovely pieces here. So I've got the wheelbarrow and I've paper pieced the wheelbarrow and you can use the wheelbarrow as a stencil. So let me just grab it here. So you can see you've got this section here. So I die cut it in this brown cardstock and then pop it in the die and then just use a brown ink and a little blending brush and go over that section there and then it will give you that design. And then I just die cut just the circle in black and then paper piece that there. That's a hole punch silver 
piece of cardstock and then I just die cut just the end of this in silver just to make a handle but I'm actually going to be trimming that off. So this now is going to go on the bottom but what you also get is these flowers so you get this die set. So what I've done is I die cut them all in green like this and then I die cut just the tops of the flowers in white and then I coloured the centre of the flowers using, so I know some of you will have the Arteza Everblend and it's the yellow ochre. I've just um, coloured that in the centres and I've actually also put the glossy accents. So you can see they're shiny in the centres. So just if anybody's unsure about paper piecing, so you just die cut it like that, don't worry about all the bottoms. And then you just snip off that bit and then I'm just going to grab my glue do those ones as well, just a little bit of glue and just literally paper piece it back over that design there. So again just take off the tiny bit of the bottom on that one and then you get that cool design. And now I'm going to stick these behind the wheelbarrow so it looks like the wheelbarrow is full of daisies and it looks so pretty, I love doing this. I'm just going to run a little bit of glue just on the bottom there and I want to have it like this. Now what you do need to take into account is whenever you're going to add anything, when this closes, that's worked out perfectly actually, so what happens is when this comes down it may just swoop across the cardstock but can you see when that comes down it's actually going to swoop across the wheelbarrow which is nice and smooth. What you wouldn't want is maybe that a bit lower and it would catch on the top of the wheelbarrow like maybe like that, can you see? So just kind of place things, play around with them, but that is going to, yeah, that's going to be fine there. So I can actually come down a bit, a little bit lower. So I'm just going to pop that one behind there. So there's little bits of the grass showing. And then pop this one down the bottom. How nice is that? And you could put that on, you know, all kinds of cards. That would look lovely on the front of a card. Um, with enjoy your retirement or um, I love my allotment or there's all kinds of things love my garden whatever you want to do but that's going to sit perfectly in there and that's going to close really nicely so I'm just going to grab a stronger glue and just pop that all on the back okay I'm not worried about the flowers sticking down I like that they are lifted up you see they just all move around I think that looks really nice then I've done the same with the the rake here, so I just die cut it in the brown craft card and then I just die cut the end in silver. And I'm just going to use my glue and that's going to go like so. And then I've got the little ladybird here, so I'm going to have, see so yeah, I don't really want to put that, maybe that could go there. So again, just check, yeah that would be fine. So I'm going to pop the ladybird just up here. And then I've got the snail, and again I've just used the snail's die as a stencil, and you get this pattern here, and I've just put some glossy accents just on the shell. So again, just pop a bit of glue on the back, and I'm going to have him, let's have him just, oh, just running along the bottom there, like so. So that's everything inside the card, so now I'm just going to flip it over. I'm just going to trim off that piece and that piece. Again, just make sure that's all stuck down. Okay, so again, you can see now that closes up perfectly. And there's, look at all that, I just love this little arrangement at the bottom. So now I'm just going to turn it over and I've gone and cut the green using the die and then I've just cut this piece, which I'm gonna stick on there. But before I stick it down, I've die cut the tree and I've just put some little Nouveau drops in the center there. And then I've also gone ahead and die cut this long one here. You could also use this as a belly band to secure this, just die cut a couple of them and stick them together. But this can also go in this panel section. So it will go across there and I will show that in future tutorials or on the other styles that I've got. But what I thought I would do here is have this, because this is where I'm gonna write my message. I thought I'd have the fence, just a bit of it. I'm gonna trim that off and I'm gonna have just the tree there and then I can write my message on that section there. So 
and there you have the back all ready for you to be able to write a message and you could stamp something there as well but now I have this really lovely card perfect for any garden lover retirement great masculine makes as well and you open it up and you have that gorgeous design inside I think it's turned out really nice I love all of the little details I just love Colin the caterpillar I love the trail here from the bee the grass detail and I just love that um, watering can the uh, wheelbarrow there I just think it's really nice you've also got a spade you could add the spade in which is just here so there's so much and again you will see me use these across my other card designs as well so this would look really nice on the tower card, on the slider, the wiper card. There's just so many fun ways to use this set. So there you have it. So I hope you've enjoyed this twist and pop card for me today. Remember as well, you don't have to just keep it in that horizontal orientation. Let me just bring back in this one here. So that's it with the vertical. You can't have it displayed open as much that way you can, well, I guess you could kind of have it like that. It would work. But um, obviously this one does stand up like so, but I just bring that one in just so you can see the two different orientations that you can, you know, have this card. And you can see the wheelbarrow there with the flowers just coloured. You don't have to add the, the centres or do them that way. And I've done the relax over there. You can see the heart trail there with the bee. And then these are the stamped bee images and the butterfly that come in the stamp set. And there's the spade there that you can see as well. So just so many different ways and um, arrangements with this die set. It's lots of fun. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I've already had lots of really lovely feedback of people that have this set and they're enjoying it. So yeah, I hope I continue to inspire you. So thanks for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.